Ciao a tutti, welcome back, bentornati. This is the third and last part of your lesson, of your ninth Italian lesson. So, let's start with c'è, there is, and ci sono, there are. This is very easy because it works just like in English. So, we need to use there is if um, there is a singular subject and ci sono if there is a plural subject. For example, in piazza c'è una gelateria. C'è una gelateria. Gelateria is a singular noun, so we need to use c'è. There is an ice cream shop in the square. Al centro commerciale ci sono molti negozi. There are many shops, plural, at the shopping center. And you can also make a question um, just like for any Italian verb. So you need to use change your intonation. C'è un cinema in città? Is there a cinema in town? And you can also make um, um, you can also make a negation. Non ci sono pizzerie aperte il lunedì. There are no pizza places open on Mondays. Okay, so I just ask for any other verb. You make questions by using your intonation. C'è un cinema in città? This is a question. If you want to make an affirmation, a sentence, you say, c'è un cinema in città. Can you hear the difference in my voice? And if you want to make a negation, you use non. Non ci sono pizzerie aperte il lunedì. And then we see ogni giovedì c'è il mercato. Every Thursday there is the market. A Napoli c'è spesso il sole. In Naples is often Sunday, sunny. Spesso is often. Ok? Dopo le 10 di sera non ci sono più treni. After 10 pm there are no more trains. Non ci sono più, there are no more. Non c'è più, there is no more. Ok? So, um, let's move on to another topic, a bit um, less heavy, not as much grammar as this first part. Let's see how to ask for and give indications. Come chiedere e dare indicazioni. So, how do you ask? Uh, let's say you're in a new city and you got lost and you need to find a place. In English, you would say, excuse me, can you tell me where is, uh, wherever, where the pharmacy is, okay? In Italian, scusi, sa dirmi dov'è, wherever, or scusa, sa dirmi dov'è, can you guess what's the difference? Scusi, scusa, sa, sai. The difference is that the first sentence, the first question is is made using uh, the courtesy form lei. Mi scusi lei. Sa lei dirmi dov'è? For example, if you um, find yourself asking information to an old man or an old lady, I would go for scusi. But if you um, are surrounded by teenagers and you're like 40 years old, I'd go for scusa. Scusa, sai dirmi dov'è? Okay, so it's all about context. And um, I give you some examples as usual. Scusi, sa dirmi dov'è la stazione più vicina? Can you tell me where, is, where the closest train station is? Sì, si. yes. Continua dritto, straight ahead, per circa 500 metri, about 500 meters. E poi gira a destra. And then turn right, subito dopo il semaforo. Immediately after the traffic light. Attraversa e sei arrivato. Cross the road and you've arrived. And then you need to find the ticket office. Mi scusi, scusa, sa dirmi dov'è? Or you can just go for dov'è? Where is it? You already know this. Right? <laughs> Dov'è la biglietteria? Where is the ticket office? La biglietteria si trova al piano di sopra. The ticket office is upstairs, sulla sinistra, on the left. 
dentro il bar o nel bar in the bar devo andare alla polizia or you can say alla stazione di polizia sai dirmi dov'è? I have to go to the police station do you know where it is? of course you cannot always find someone who will tell you everything it can happen that you find someone who's maybe a, tour, a tourist or just doesn't know their its own city so uh, they, it might happen that someone tells you no, mi dispiace, non lo so no, I'm sorry, I don't know uh, more examples sai se c'è un ostello nei paraggi? do you know if there is a hostel nearby? nei paraggi o nelle vicinanze means nearby ostello is hostel purtroppo, unfortunately, there isn't non c'è il più vicino, the closest one, è a cinque fermate di pullman. It's five bus stops away. Ok? And then here I give you some words. For example, we've seen uh, uh, straight ahead. You can say continuare or proseguire dritto. These are both regular verbs, so you can conjugate them um, according to their own conjugation, of course. This verb ends in are, so it's a first conjugation verb. Proseguire is a third conjugation, because it ends with ire, verb. Uh, rotonda, roundabout. Alla rotonda, gira a destra. Girare a destra, another regular first conjugation verb. Sinistra, to turn right, to turn left. Destra, destra is right. Sinistra is left. Alla fine della strada, at the end of the road, uh, turn right, ok? Attraversare la strada, or just attraversare, to cross the road. A destra, on the right, a sinistra, on the left. Al piano di sopra, upstairs. Al piano di sotto, downstairs. Vicino, close. Lontano, far. Dentro, inside. Fuori, outside. Davanti, in front of. Dietro, behind. Intorno, around. Nelle vicinanze, nei paraggi. With a double G, nearby. Semaforo, semaforo, traffic light. Strisce pedonali, zebras, I told you this in the first lesson, if I'm not wrong. Macchina, car. Motorino, scooter. Motocicletta, motorcycle. Aereo, or aeroplano, airplane. Treno, train. Pullman, or bus or autobus, we call them in a lot of ways, <laughs> means bus, tram is tram, rumoroso, noisy, silenzioso, silent, i negozi, the shops, il ristorante, restaurant, I was very good with you guys because I also gave you the article so you know the gender, I'm a very good teacher. <laughs> Sono una brava insegnante, una buona insegnante. Il ristorante, restaurant. La pizzeria, is pizzeria, pizza place. La pasticceria, the pastry shop. Il bar, cafe. Cafe, cafe. Il centro commerciale, shopping center. Supermercato, supermarket. L'edicola, news agent. La farmacia, pharmacy or chemist. La gioielleria, jewelry shop. Perfume shop is la profumeria. Bookshop, libreria, butcher. Macelleria, pescheria means fish market. Il fruttivendolo, the green grocer. La panetteria, bakery. La tabaccheria, topeco shop. Il negozio di alimentari, grocery shop. 
Il negozio di abbigliamento, clothes shop. Il negozio di elettrodomestici, o elettronica. Actually, it... <laughs> I made a mistake. Il negozio di elettronica. The electronic shop, so where you buy um, laptops, mobile phones. The thing I wrote before, elettrodomestici. Uh, il negozio di elettrodomestici is where you would go to buy um, a microwave, a fridge, Uh, or uh, I don't know any electrodomestic <laughs> um, about uh, negozio di alimentari and negozio di abbigliamento there is a mistake that I've seen a lot of you doing when you did your assignment I can't remember who or when honestly but there is a big difference in Italian if you say andare a fare la spesa <clears throat> it means to go grocery shopping If you say andare a fare spese or andare a fare shopping, it means to go shopping, like for clothes or shoes, okay? So there is a difference. And the verb andare is an irregular verb. We are going to see it in the next lesson, okay? So um, it doesn't work as a normal first conjugation verb. It's an irregular one. And then I made your list of public places. Um, luoghi pubblici sorry about double P I don't know if it's an autocorrect or thing or my mind is starting to play tricks on me but <laughs> I've corrected public places with just one B of course <coughs> sorry scusate aeroporto, airport porto, port stazione or stazione dei treni means train station But if you're in a city and you ask for uh, la stazione, dov'è la stazione, everyone knows you're talking about the train station, okay? So it's really up to you. Binario is the platform. Uh, stazione degli autobus, dei pullman, bus station. Fermata del pullman, bus stop. Biblioteca, library. Banca, bank. Posta, or ufficio postale, post office. Chiesa, church. I've added two more things to make it um, religion friendly. <laughs> Moschea is mosque, and sinagoga is synagogue. I hope I'm saying this right. Synagogue? Well, someone will let me know. <laughs> Ospedale, hospital, scuola. School, Università, University, mind the accent on the A. Teatro is the theater. Parco, park. Municipio, town hall. And, I don't know why I skipped the page. As I was saying, and um, with all these things, all these words and um, indications, uh, vocabularies that you've learned, you can also describe your city. For example, here I described uh, my city. Sorry, I just need to take, to take a sip of water. La mia città si chiama Napoli. Napoli si trova nel sud Italia ed è una città molto grande con tanti abitanti. You can read the translation uh, once you look at this video again, okay? I just want to give you some um, continuity in Italian listening, rather than me just stopping every other word to translate. A Napoli ci sono panorami mozzafiato. Il centro storico è pieno di palazzi antichi, chiese, ristoranti, bar, gelaterie e pizzerie. Il centro della città è sempre affollato. C'è sempre molta gente in strada, sia in estate che in inverno. Alcune strade, chiamate vicoli, sono molto strette. Ma ci sono anche strade larghe, come Mergellina. Napoli è sempre rumorosa. Ci sono tante macchine, motorini e mezzi di trasporto. Okay, this was a very small, small, small description of uh, Napoli very extremely small. <laughs> I just wanted to give you um, an example of how you can structure a description, in this case of a city. 
there is something I wanted to tell you. I had to put a sign. Where is it? Oh, yeah, here. Gente. Gente um, is called a nome collettivo. Because can you see here? I use c'è. C'è molta gente. And then I translated it as there are many people. So, no, un nome collettivo, a collective noun, is a noun that, it, that in its singular form stands for a plural. Because la gente is a singular, um, is a singular noun, but we know that gente is a group of people, it's like a lot of people, like more than one person, two person, three person, okay, put together, they make a group. Gente means people, it's a plural. But it's written as a singular, okay? That is why, uh, just not to confuse you, because I told you che is used for a singular um, noun, if it refers to a singular noun. I don't mean to confuse you, just know that gente is un nome collettivo. Gente è un nome collettivo. So it acts uh, differently, okay? You need to use the singular, um, the singular, um, version of there is and there are, okay? And it goes the same if you want to say uh, my people, la mia gente, okay? You need to use the singular form. You cannot say uh, le mie genti, okay? It, it doesn't sound good at all. All right, so that was it about today's lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have more words that I have not included in my list here, like uh, shop names or words to give uh, indications, please write them down in the comment area so um, I will give you tr the translation, okay? And as usual, if something is not clear, just let me know. And now we'll move on to your assignment. Here is, uh, Here are actually your assignments and I would like to ask you to forgive, perdonate, my poor uh, drawing skills. <laughs> Because I'm not good at all at designing, uh, nonetheless, with on the laptop, so really forgive, forgive me. <laughs> and the first part of your assignment is to describe the drawing. Descrivi il disegno. Okay, so try to say where everything is, for example, what is next to each other, what's in between. For example, here I wrote, la scuola è tra il centro commerciale e il municipio. Because you can see the school is in between these two things. This is a good opportunity for you to practice the um, prepositions, okay? Both uh, um, simple and articulate. Second uh, part of your assignment is to describe your city. Descrivi la tua città usando, using, qualifying adjectives, aggettivi qualificativi. So try to do what I did in my city's description. For example, I said rumorosa, noise, um, and I can't remember, just <laughs> look at it again. Uh, soleggiata, uh, sunny, okay? Try to do that. Or you could also, for example, describe just a road of your city and write, uh, for example, c'è un supermercato, uh, c'è una scuola, okay? La scuola è accanto al parco, wherever. And then, uh, write, scrivi, verbo scrivere, second conjugation verb, 12 sentences, 12 frasi, using possessive adjectives, usando gli aggettivi possessivi. Try to include um, all the, both genders and both uh, numbers, so try to make them plural, masculine, singular, feminine, etc, 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 okay, so once again, have a look at this masterpiece, <laughs> just so you know, once you open this file, it's gonna show, um, it's gonna show up this mode, so just uh, zoom in, and you're gonna be able to see my beautiful art, okay, I should charge you for this, I know, <laughs> so thank you so much guys for watching, as usual, if something is not clear, I know I said it like a hundred times, uh, but please um, do not hesitate to contact me, and I'll be waiting uh, for your assignment on messenger, please send them to me on messenger, write and also read everything out loud to me, please, okay? 
Ciao a tutti, grazie mille, ciao!